All Tamaka ever records anything is regarding behavior, but beyond that, I cannot record your voice without permission. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to record this um, video for the other students who could not be with us to watch videos and get the material. All right, back to the question. So how do we convert 20 degrees to radians again? Um, um, pi over 180? Yep. Yeah. It is going to be pi over 180. So when we do that, what happened? Don't, and then let's do like 20, 20, um, 20 and pi over 180. 20 over 180. And 20 over 180. Don't do that pi alone. Yeah. So, how do we simplify 20 over 180? And then it's going to oh. be like, you're going to take, ain't you going to take the zero out? Yeah, that's ideally. Okay. So, how do we do 2 over 18? Don't you subtract or something? No, not subtract. Isn't it like uh, eleven? Or something? Yeah, we don't you like simplify it or like? Um, yes, we do simplify that, um, Aaron. But how do we simplify two over eighteen? Two over two over what? Two over like one or something? Yep. Is she in? Hey, Miss Paul. Just let you know, I did record the tutor in session. I got permission to do so. So hey, be a part of it. Thank you. All right, getting back to this, 2 over 18. How do we simplify 2 over 18? 2 over 1. Not 2 over 1. Okay, so I got you on this one. All right, so y'all. What is the greatest common factor of 2 and 18? 2? Two? 2. All right, so let's do it. Divide both of them by 2. What's 2 divided by 2? 1. One. One. What's 18 divided by 2? 9. 9. Nine. If we get because we're doing it in radians, you got to put this over pi. So that's pi over 9. You may take a picture of this if you choose to. And again, this is recorded so that we get through later on this evening, you could have access to this recording. All right. So we're going to do another one because you guys got kind of simplify this because when y'all take your next quiz, y'all got to know how to do all of that. So, let me ask you this question. So, let's try 40 degrees. And let's convert 40 degrees to radians. So, it will be like 40 over 8, 180, and then have pi. 40 over 180. And, of course, we leave pi, but we don't do nothing with pi. Because pi is yeah. going to be our final answer still. Okay, so how do we simplify 40 over 180? Take out the zero, then you, um, then you subtract or divide, which means... Not eight. subtract, Aaron. Well, you divide. Um, let me think. Let me think. Um, then you... You divide it by... Um, is it two? It is by two. Good job. But well, you'll divide both of them by two. So what's four divided by two? two? What's two. 18 divided by two? two. Nine. Uh, Just like that. Remember, Miss Paul, to get credit for this tutoring session, you guys um, must all participate. In addition to when you are participating with me, that means that because you did the tutoring with me, you don't have to do the homework for today because you did tutoring with me. So after you're done with me here, guess what? You've done your homework with me. All right. 
Let's go ahead All and right. move on. Yes, sir. So, let's try 80 degrees. I want you guys to take 80 degrees and convert it to radians. Eighty. Mm hmm So it's gonna be eighty over one eighty and pi and then you divide you're divided by two, you will give you four and nine, I think. One second. If so I'm you said divided by what? You go divide you go divide them by two. We'll okay. Give you four and nine. Good job. Nicely done. So that's four pi over nine. All right. Not bad. All right, Miss Pa, I want you to try one. And of course, we're going to back you up if you need it. I want you to walk the process with me for 100 degrees. Can you do 100 over 180? Hang on. Yeah, I want uh, Miss Paul to kind of try with me. All right. So, Miss Paul, any idea how to simplify this? Um, okay. You could I'm divide it. Gonna... You could. Go ahead. 100 can be. You could do 10 and 18. Come on. Oh, good job. That's right. 10 and 18. So you cancel out the zeros. Then what's next? Um, you could divide them by two. That's right. And it'll be five over five over nine. Five pi pi over nine. Nicely done. Oh. No, you got it right. It is five nine. So I'm just telling you not to forget pi. That's all. But you are correct still. Nicely done. Easy, right? All right, we're going to do the last one. And then after that, we're going to move on to other things. All right. So let's try 140 over 180. I want you guys to try that one. So it's going to be 14 over 18. 14 over 18. Five by two. And we'll give you like seven. Seven, over nine. seven over nine. That's right. Seven yeah. over nine. Seven, pi. seven pi over nine. Nice. I think you guys got the hang oh, of yeah. that. But here's the thing that I know that you kids don't do so good of. You guys will perform well with me, but the issue is the next class period where I ask you guys about it, you guys are forgetful. So please, please, please do not get forgetful. So what I want you guys to do for me not today because you're doing the work with me tomorrow just replay this video of what we are doing in this um tutoring session so therefore tomorrow you don't forget because you guys do got a quiz first thing in the morning when y'all see me quiz kind of crazy the reason why i'm quizzing y'all like fucking i mean like crazy is because i need for you guys to show that you understand the material because what get y'all is y'all just forget I don't forget, it just only comes I, I know, but the good thing about my quiz, remember, my quiz are open notes. If you pay attention to those little details, the little stuff, it's going to be all right. But the good note is that this quiz that you guys will see me, will see, next time you see me, is not going to be like the 251. This one is just going to be a 100 point quiz. It's going to be pretty easy going. Again, I'm doing it because I got to get you guys to show me that you know the material. All right, so we learned all this. So. Let me ask you this situation. Stepping back for the trig and talking about the um, dealing with percentages. Because I need for you guys to get good with that, too. 
because that's something I will be asking you. You may see those war promises that we did earlier. You may not. So, y'all, the best way for you guys to understand percents, you guys saw your quiz grades, right? Yeah. So, what's the rate? Tell. So, what? how I graded you guys from the quiz? Help me understand. Um, you graded on, you graded us on, like, do we know it or not? Oh, not in that sense. Oh, I got you. So remember, a percent is part over the whole, right? That's what a percent is. Your grades that you guys been seeing since day one is percent. So that's the reason why I'm trying to get you guys to do it so you guys could uh, understand it better. All right, so let's do this. So, something easy. So, Theo took a quiz. There was 10 questions. So, out of the quiz, he got seven right. What's the percentage? What's my percent? What's 70%? my grade? A 30%? Wait. Oh, wait. A 70%? Those huh? oh, 10 questions? Yep. It was 10 questions. I got seven right. Yeah, I heard so it. 70%. So how do we it's identify 70%? Because the 10 and the 7. So listen up. So which one's the part? Which one's the whole? The part is seven. Yeah, the part is the questions right. Questions right over the total questions. So. Seven divided by ten is what? Seventy. Uh, Seventy percent. Seventy percent. Yeah. Remember, point seven is seventy percent. Percent is out of one hundred. All right. Now let's go back to the quiz. I'm not going to ask you guys about tell me your percentages. I mean, your um, stuff. I don't want you guys to, to even talk about that because it's illegal for me to even ask you this in a recording period. So, going to percent. Cause I want you guys to understand because when I grade your stuff, I don't tell you the actual grade. How do I do it? What do you see on your paper? Well, what we Part see over whole. What we have wrong and what we have right, or something, something like that. Part of a whole. So, of the quiz, what's the whole of the quiz? 250. It was 250. Yeah, 250. Yeah. Because that's how many points possible. Over. What's going to be in the numerator? Or like 125 or something like that. Whatever so what is 125 represent? That's I mean that's that's the um that's what we asked for. The, the, the part you have to answer correctly. That's the points earned. So if I was to if I was the one taking the quiz, if I was to score a one ninety, what's my grade? Uh, um, one twenty, one fifty. Uh, two fifty. Remember? I mean, two fifty. Um, you score one. A seventy-six percent. A seventy-six percent. So I passed the quiz. That's a C. I'm cool with that. And that's it.
that's pretty much just it. If I'm asking you to find the percent, and this also works for um, probability to find the average. Average is another word of percent also. All right, so we good on that? I think we are. You guys kind of did well with the percent. But I need for you guys to make sure when you're going to the ACT person, you guys remember what you have learned in my class to apply to her class too. Especially the tricks that you guys are going to be doing next week again. We're going to be doing the same thing. Yeah, because the stuff that we're doing with the unit circle, that's there. And I'm going to show you what kind of questions they're going to be asking you for. And we're going to talk about that momentarily. All right. All right. So let's get back to those pesky triangles. And the reason why we're getting back to them because, y'all, it is essential. You know that. But there's no way you're going to get through the unit circle at all. So let's do it. So let's go with a 3060. So this side is going to be my short. Well, I'm going to confuse you a bit because I want you guys to get past trying to remember. This is my long leg. This is my short. And this is my hypotenuse. So, if I have something like If my long leg is 7 square root 3, what's my short leg going to be? 7. Beautiful. What's the hypotenuse going to be? 4. 14. Nine. Nine. 14. Nice, because it's what? 30, 60, 90. Remember, Suvon, remember, if my short, and I'm doing this differently, notice how I put the short here? I'm just doing that just to mess with you because I want you to kind of just get with the flow. So if the short leg is X, what's the hypotenuse again? You just did it here. We went first time to 14. What'd you say? It's X. X Two times X. X double. That's cool. That's nice. So what if the long leg? What's the long leg always going to be? X. X, X what? To the square root of three. Oh, this yeah. is essential. Because when we get to that unit circle, and when we try to build our stuff, we have to know this. To be honest with you, I may make your little quiz a take home quiz and just give you the serious quiz when I see y'all so I can know that you guys got this understood let's do one more of this at this time I'm not going to give you a triangle I'm going to put in words because again I want you guys to quit trying to remember stuff just know what's up so y'all if my hypotenuse is 30. What's my long leg? And what's my short leg going to be? Your, the me. short leg is 15 and the long leg 15 is 15 to the third. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is it. That is all you have to remember for the 30, 60, 90. Beautiful work, ladies. Aaron, you catching all? You cool with this, or do we need to do a quick example? Well, I'm good. I'm paying attention. I'll make sure you understand. Do you understand? Yeah. All right. I'll just find out. This next problem is all yours, buddy. All right. All right. So, if the short leg... Well, if the long leg is 
I'm gonna go easy. I ain't gonna go hard on you yet. I need to go hard on y'all. I really do. So, if I was to say seven, nah, nah, we're gonna behave. Seven square root three. There we go. I'm trying to be hard, but I don't need to. So, Aaron, that's the long. What's the short leg gonna be? Well, short. Um, it would. Uh, Don't you need a seven, huh? Cause that's right. You need only just need seven. What about the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse. That's the um. So if the long is seven, square root three. Root three. Yep. So and then, uh, I don't angle. Can someone help him? I think it's uh, is it fourteen? Wait. Yep. Why is it fourteen? Because the hypotenuse oh. always um uh, the uh the long times two. Not the long times two. Well, it's the wet times two. Uh, it's that I don't know, but it's something yeah. times two. It's the short. It's the short times two. times two. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. Oh my bad, I didn't even see that right there. No, it's all cool. That's the reason why we doing two there, and you doing it with me, so you get a better understanding of it. And again, y'all, please, please, please. The next day, just replay the replay this tutoring video. It's gonna make sense to you. I promise you, next class, you're gonna be ready. You're gonna be so ready for my quiz. You're gonna be forcing me to give y'all that quiz. What a quiz at? All right, y'all. Now it's time to be nasty. Why not? I think it's time this time. See y'all really bally bally. All right. So hard to be bad when I'm trying to be easy. All right. What's up? Here we go. Y'all tell me what's up. And this is the short leg, by the way. The, the short? short leg. So if the short leg is that, uh oh. Now here's come the drama. Long is like seven something. I think so I. You're right. It's gonna be seven something. Cause you, it's gonna be seven to the square root of that's two, huh? Yeah, but remember the um, long. The long is when you gotta take the short times the square root of three. Remember what we did with the square roots, which we're gonna go over. I got you. So this is this still um forty six ninety? Yep. The forty five, forty five, I think you guys got that down to a science. I'm not worried about that one. Well, we will touch on the next class period. Probably throw it in the cahoot somewhere. Or I may make y'all go ahead and do that cahoot somehow. So yeah, so the short leg is seven two, right? Seven square root two. Times the square root of three. So let me ask you this question, y'all. What did I tell you about the two square roots? What can you multiply? Is it the uh the two and the three you can multiply? That's right, babe. Nicely done. So yeah, what's that final answer gonna be? You said it. Is it uh seven square root six? Seven square root six, nicely done. All right. Now let's do the hypotenuse of this one. The hypotenuse is what?
Well, it's that formula. The hypotenuse is always going to be short times what? J O. Short times what? Long? No, not for the hypotenuse. Let me rewrite it. Two times what? Remember, the hypotenuse is two times the short leg. So, yeah, mm -hmm. let me ask you this question. Two times seven square root two. Let me ask you this. Can I multiply that? What can I multiply? The two times the short. Can I multiply Wait, all of that short? No. What can I multiply? Um, mm -mm. Can you do the um the seven square root two first and then multiply by two, or you gotta multiply the uh two times the each, like each. Two times oh, seven no. only. Remember, oh. unless you got another square root, you can't do nothing with another square root. So that's going to be fourteen. With a square root two. That's it. That's all you really have to do. Just that. All right. So yeah, let's go rationalizing the uh, radical. What did I tell you about ra rationalizing the radical? What should the square root always be at? So if I have a fraction or a rational number, what should the rational number always be at? Numerator. Always at the numerator. So let's say I give you a situation like six. But then I have the square root of two. How do I do that? What did we do in class, you multiply, you multiply by um, the square root of two. So you go like square root two of six, and square root two of two. This, um, go ahead. It'd be like four. This is it just four? No, something over it. I'm trying to guess. Something. Wouldn't it be like 12 over 4? Is it going to be 12 over 4? Y'all agree with that? Or 36 over 4? Is it going to be 36 over 4? I think 36 over 4. Mm, not quite. Remember, 6 and square root 2... Those are two different things. So oh, you can't, um, yeah, you oh, can't yeah, do it because it's not a perfect square. And then you got two different numbers. You got a square root and you got an integer. Yeah. All right, so what do you know about the square root of four? That is um. That is two? That is two. Yeah. All right. And so this is our answer, just like that. That is how you rationalize the denominator. All right, we're going to try another one. See, this ain't so bad. It's pretty easy. And again, we play the video the next day because I promise you this is going to click. So, yeah. I'm going to give you one more easy one, then we're going to go hard. All right, y'all tell me what's up. So it'll be, it'll be on it'll be seven times five. Seven over seven. Bro, yeah, seven. And then you're going to do seven. Seven. Yeah. 
It's not it's just gonna be, it's gonna be square root seven times five and square root seven times square root of seven. Good. That's what I was looking for. So what's gonna happen in the denominator? It's it's gonna be like it's gonna turn to like square root of forty nine or something. Okay. And what's gonna happen in the numerator? Then gonna be like five over it's gonna be five square root of seven. Why could I not multiply five in the square root of seven? Because your five well, is square root. Two different types of numbers. One's a square root, one's just an integer. Yeah. Okay, what do you know about the square root of 49? You could you could divide it and you could be turning to seven again. It's gonna be seven, right? Yeah. And then this is gonna be five square root seven. That's it. Not to tour, y'all. Now it's time to play hardball with y'all. Now I'm gonna give y'all something just because I'm messy. Oh, uh, uh, I don't like messy. Well, you like got it. It. how many times y'all see me being a mess in the classroom? I'm a mess. I'm a mess in this tutoring too. That's a fact, right there. All right, so now let's go ahead and go. So. We're going to go with 7. And then we're going to go. Here we go. Ah. Uh, there's some drama for you. How will we handle this one? Wouldn't it still be the seven over seven first? That's right. So what happens five. there? You it's gonna be go you'll ahead. Keep, you'll keep your five right there, I think. Mm -hmm. No, you right. you will keep your five. And it's gonna be square root of twenty one. Oh shit! Ooh. Hold on. You gonna, then you gonna be a square. Then you go do over forty nine. Hold on, I'll be back. Look at him. He did it so beautifully. All right, let's finish it for him. He gave us a beautiful start. Do it. Turn back the forty nine. Go back to seven. It does go back to seven. Can't do anything with the square root of 21. Can I simplify the square root of 21? Yeah, that's it. Why is that it? Because you on um, your five will stay the same because it's not it's not in square root. And you right, have to but multiply, you had to multiply your three by your seven. You got two yeah, right let me ask, yeah, let me ask you this though. Does 21 simplify anything? Okay, I found a perfect square within 21. I think so. I don't. Uh, Are you sure? No, you, no. Good job, because although you get seven times three, neither of these are perfect squares. Neither of them are perfect squares. On your quiz, I may give you a situation similar to this, but I need for you to kind of just think again. Let's not go off similarity because I know how you guys are. This doesn't look like the stuff we did. We didn't do nothing like this. You did. I just made you think a little bit more, just like you did in this problem. This problem, you was able to figure it all out. You was indeed so. One little thing, then we're finally going to end it. Well, I'm going to converse, then we're going to drop it. So I'll go ahead and draw the LS hue and get this out the way. All right. So let's do this one. Five. For some reason, I just can't get enough of five. Try this one. 
That's easy, really. Um, it's gonna be square root two times square root two. We give you five um square root of um t four, and then you gonna have another. And it's gonna be over four, um square root four. And so what do we? What do we know about square root of four? It's um it's two. So you could easily make um it's easy. It could be two over five square root of two. Not five square root of two. What's going to happen to that four in the numerator? Square root of four. You going to say the same? Mm, are y'all sure about that? We know something about the square root of four, don't we? Uh, is it going to be five square root two over uh over two? Not quite. Y'all over. Y'all were thinking it. Okay. You know, what you guys know about the square root of four? The square root of four is what? Two. Two. So what's five times two? Ten. ten. What's ten over two? Ten divided by two? Yep, it's five. I will be giving you something like that. Now that is me being messy. I will be giving you a problem of that caliber. Because it's so easy to mess up on because you guys forgot about the square root four in the numerator. It was so easy when we had a number that wasn't a perfect square in the numerator, like square root of 21. But it's so easy to forget, oh, square root of 4 is square root of 2. So again, when you guys take my quiz, I cannot stress this enough. It is not going to look the exact same. You guys know this process already. So that's all you guys have to do. If you need further practice because you guys been to my tutoring, the homework for you guys will be a bonus for you. So you don't have to do the homework, but if you choose to do it to get further understanding as you prepare for your quiz, it is going to be bonus for you. And of course, you know how I am about bonuses. Let them work out your quiz great. And it's going to be on stuff like this. And I'm going to do it in the Kahoot so you can know the correct answers. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen because we are done here. And also to my people who are watching this, I want you guys to be very thankful for these people who chose to allow you to um, hear their voices because they don't have to do this. Again, tutoring is not a thing to expect, but if one of them say no, I'm not doing this. So make sure that you guys who are watching this video understand it's up to the participants to decide. And remember, you guys.